You can win a Speedmaster Movement Watch Professional in collaboration with the sponsor of this video, Chronix. The secret to that is in this little watch case, but we will first get to the video and I will tell you about the Speedy in a bit. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny and in this video we are going to take a look at the 21 of your most popular watches for students and young professional according to you, my viewers. Right, so I have asked you guys on Instagram to share with me your actual watches that you as students or you know young professionals or starters in life or whatever are wearing you know not the dreamy fantasy kind of stuff but sharing the watches that you actually wear and that work for you guys so i took all of your submissions and compiled them into this list to show you 21 of the most popular watches among you guys and we've got all sorts of options here from like divers the gmts we've got field watches dress watches and all kinds of budget categories so Let's get started. Right, let's start with a very classic Casio, the Casio Duro. The most popular version is definitely the all black color variant with the rubber strap in a 200 meter water resistant case and a 44 millimeter diameter. It's a straightforward dive in terms of design, but still sleek enough to work in, I would say, everyday situations that aren't, you know, as casual as a fun trip on the weekends, for example. You also get a date window at three o'clock, um, a mineral crystal on top and a reliable quartz movement. So you don't have to, you know, worry about setting it when putting it down for a couple of days. I have had so many submissions about the Duro because it's so popular. Even better that it sells at around 70 euro and is easily available on sites like Amazon. The next up is another incredibly popular watch that is amazing for those of you who might be put off by the 44 millimeter diameter of the Duro because the Hamilton Murph is available in a sleek 38 millimeter diameter. It's a smaller version of the OG 42 millimeter Murph watch that starts in the movie Interstellar. Uh, it is a very readable black dial with Arabic numerals. It has cathedral hands and a vintage inspired luminova on both hands and the indices you get a full 80 hour power reserve in a perfectly sized case it could easily be you know one of these one watch watch collection watches with its water resistance of 100 meter the prices start at 895 dollars which is you know rather steep um, but given that you know heart facts that morph could totally last your lifetime and let's continue with the orient kamazu another viewer favorite that is available in all kinds of dark colors it's a classic diver with a three link steel bracelet that is definitely more on the I would say vintage vibe kind of side than others. It's durable and handy with its day and day complication. Uh, what's really special is, and what lots of people really highlighted here is the red dial version of this. Uh, you don't often get a red dial with divers, so this is a great choice for those who like. You know, things a bit more special at only $250. And now from something vintage to something very minimalistic and perhaps, uh, you know, less whimsical, the straightforward Max Bill from Jung Hans. With this, you get a German watchmaking and definitely a more dressy watch than most in this lineup. The entire Max Bill line is great, but let's focus, you know, on the classic white dial and black leather strap variation of this it is super slim and lightweight with a 38 millimeter in diameter and it is very well suited for everyone who spends a lot of time at a desk i would say because of its specs it is on the more expensive side with a retail price of 1375 euro but if you're on a budget you could find a pre-owned quartz version of this for about 390 dollars on the internet right i promise you the secret to winning the speedmaster so let's open that watch pouch and see what's inside what do we find here well that does look like a link i would suggest you pause this video real quick follow this link and see where it leads you i wish everyone good luck for this giveaway and a big thank you to today's sponsor chronix for supporting the jenny l channel and now let's get back to the video and now that we are already on the topic of German watches, I want to continue with one of the classics from Glassfit, of course, the Noah's Tangente. There are different diameter sizes available, but for this video, I will stick with the 35 millimeter diameter because of the elongated lugs that we know from Nomo, so they will stick out and, and make it wear even bigger anyway. So yeah, what's really popular with lots of graduates is the steel case spec version. Lots of people get it engraved to commemorate that special milestone in their life, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I myself have an engraved watch too. Um, on top, you also have the minimalistic design, the pop of color with the blued hands and a black leather strap in the classic variation to wrap, you know, the package up. It is easily one of my favorite watches in this list. And for only 1,660 euro, you get a truly handmade watch from Glashütte in Germany. Right, let's move over to Switzerland with the Tissot PRX Pharmatic 80. 
since it has been released it has been a true favorite amongst watch collectors no matter how mature or not um and it is easy to see why it's a 40 millimeter diameter in a full steel case with an integrated bracelet that is a full-on 70s inspired with its deep blue waffle dial and the date at uh, three o'clock the brushing on the case and bracelet is extremely fine and detailed and you can you know just feel that the entire design from head to toe, let's say, hand to clasp, <laughs> um, has been well thought through. The automatic movement offers a power reserve of 80 hours, which is incredible, and you get the entire Suzman package for just below 1K, that is about $735. And for those who are more into a budget version of this, there's also the very similar Tissot PRX Quartz. It is also 40 millimeter in diameter with a subtle sunburst dial. It has a date at three o'clock and the same integrated bracelet to round up the look. Um, the brushing and the finishing, etc., is also the same, but you know, thanks to the quartz movement inside, you save a lot of money because this one goes for about $395, which is, you know, a bit more than just half of the price of the automatic version from before. Okay, the next watch almost made my uh, inbox explode because so many suggested it. Uh, the relatively recently released Citizen to USA. I've already reviewed it here on my channel, so I will link the video for you down below if you want to watch it. But let me give you a quick rundown here. This 40 millimeter watch has an automatic movement with a 40 hour power reserve, has a very simple wood elegant design and feels very much like an Oyster Perpetual in terms of, you know, look and wear. It also has a date complication at three o'clock, which the Oyster Perpetual from Rolex does not have and a bracelet that looks similar to the President bracelet from a Rolex. You can easily find it online starting at about 275-ish euro, I would say, with lots of different dial colors to choose from. Now, from one Japanese company to the next one, let's look at the Seiko Baby Alpinist. It's definitely one of those go everywhere, do anything type of watches with a perfect diameter of 38 millimeter. It has a robust Seiko automatic movement with a 70 hour power reserve and it will cost you about $650. Next up, we have the Casio GMA S2100 or better known as the Casio. It is a fantastic watch. I own it too and it is perfect. If you're not so much into, you know, the classic steel and leather strap kind of watch. The octagonal case is a cool detail and is also responsible for its nickname because of the octagonal royal oak case shape. Um, it is also not your standard Casio, but it has all the perks and the durability of your standard Casio. There are you know, lots of different variations out there and many colors to choose from. It is definitely a, more of a fun than a serious watch, but it remains compact with its a 43 millimeter in diameter, but a tame 56 millimeter lug to lug, and it is available starting for about $100. And we're going back to more classic watch now that we have looked at the Casio. Let's focus on the Seiko Cocktail Time, more specifically the classic blue dial. Uh, you can never go wrong with a blue dial, and Seiko makes a really beautiful one with that subtle sunray finishing. There is a handy date, a three, and it's overall a very, you know, classy looking watch with its five link bracelet. The 14 and a half millimeter diameter sounds large, but it wears rather small, and it is also available, you know, in smaller sizes. If you want to you know, tone it down a bit more like i said it is available in different colors and sizes but this configuration will set you back at about four hundred dollars next we have the Mido ocean star gmt which is really cool because you really find a nice looking and you know proper gmt watch in that price range at about a thousand and five hundred dollars and Mido really delivers here it has the power reserve of up to 80 hours um, on this really cool vintage Pepsi bezel design. It merges, you know, diving specs like the 200 meter watt resistance with a GMT complication, all in a 44 millimeter diameter case, has a ceramic bezel and a sapphire crystal on top of that. Okay, the next watch is really something, uh, especially if you're into one of the very first dive watches ever, but don't want to spend that first diver ever kind of money because the Aquascaf or Aquascaf, I'm not sure, um, classic from Baltic is a fantastic option if you're looking for that truly classic diver with all you know, the pros of a new watch. It is built with 316L steel. That's the same alloy that Tudor uses, for example. Um, with a 39 millimeter case and a well-balanced 47 millimeter lug to lug. I love that. It has an easily serviceable Myota movement and 14 style hour markers. The more you look at it, the more you find design cues from those iconic divers from back in the day, like the three-dimensional dive plate built from Panerai. And the best news is it starts at about $650 on a fabric strap. And there is at least one more for the vintage lovers. The Laurier Neptune Series 4 is another great example of excellent and thoughtful design at a reasonable price. And so many of you guys are loving it too. The Neptune 4 features a Haslite crystal like the OG Moonwatch, you know, to match the vintage feel and is said to also be inspired by the diving legends such as the 50 Fathoms from Blancpain 
all the iconic ones of Marina by Rolex from the 60s. Uh, if you want, you can also have it engraved to commemorate something special in your life. And it starts at $450. But let's put the divers on hold for a second and look up to Flieger watches. For this one, you have picked the Oris Big Crown. Yes, it is more expensive than most watches on this list with a price tag of 2,250 euro with this, you know, gray bluish dial, but that does not seem to put you guys off since so many have suggested it. Uh, it's built to easily last your lifetime with its stainless steel bracelet and a classic coin turn bezel that can handle a bumper too. The cathedral hands give it a very classy look, I think, and it also has a very interesting date complication that is pretty cool that has also given it its a name. The pointer date, because, you know, the date is indicated by the date hand and points to it with the number sitting around the dial. Um, it is a bigger 40 millimeter diameter, which is in line with, you know, the Flieger watch spirit and is, of course, an automatic watch. And we are continuing with Flieger watches. The Stover Flieger Verus is the next one on this list. Um, historical German Flieger watches have a huge fan base and the Flieger Verus is a modernized version of the historical watches. It is a 40 millimeter case that is in line, you know, the Flieger typical philosophy. Um, it has the Flieger typical onion crown, a super legible watch dial, and it is very, you know, distinct in its look. I have to say that. Um, inside beats an automatic Celita movement, so no, no worries when you want to get it serviced. And it also has a sapphire crystal on top um, for the extra durability, which I really like. And it sits just below 1K at $950. I cannot make a list like that and not include one of the oldest watch brands ever, Longines. For this, you guys have picked the Longines Hydro Conquest. Longines has been around since 1832 and has released some real hits along the way, of course, uh, including this one. It is a no fuss, get to the point type of diver. It's solid, it's readable, and it has a matching black ceramic bezel. It is nice to see a white date disc, which, you know, basically helps to read it better. Um, it is a 39 millimeter in diameter, but whereas a bit bigger thanks to its 48 millimeter lug to lug. The crystal is sci-fi, of course, with an anti-reflective coating on both sides, and the entire watch costs about $1,375. Okay, so from those $1,900, we are going back to a more budget-friendly option, uh, the Timex Q reissue. You can either get as a Pepsi or a Batman GMT variant, if you like. It is an iconic design, and at a price of $189, it's an affordable and fun way to dip your toes into, you know, vintage waters. There's also a day-date complication and a 38 millimeter diameter that works on most wrists. Uh, the only thing to keep in mind here is your, you know, arm hair on the bracelet, but that's forgivable when thinking about all the good stuff that comes with this watch. And talking about budget friendly, there is no way in hell I would make a video like this without having the Seiko 5 Sports in it. There are so many variations and I couldn't make an entire video by itself with all the variations you guys sent in. So yeah, um, there's definitely at least one for everyone here. I am sure of it. If we look at the very classic, you know, black version, you get a three link steel bracelet. You've got a day in the day complication at three loomed hour markers and at all in a 43 millimeter diameter case with a very compact lug to lug of 46 millimeter. It is such a standard watch and something to be found, I would say, in most watch collections around the world. I myself own two and I can absolutely recommend it. Uh, and the black dial starts at $350. Okay, the next watch did surprise me a bit, but it is apparently what so many of you guys love to wear and recommend, the Casio Calculator watch. It is a bit of a weird pick, but hey, you can't say it's not handy. You can get it on Amazon for about $40. It is a digital quartz watch with a uh, Casio typical durability. And that one's definitely a conversation starter if you're looking for one. And uh, yeah, it's a calculator too. If that's not enough for you, it also has a date. Um, it is an alarm chronograph. So dimensions are 24 to 33 millimeter um, with no wait list at all. And last but not least, the most controversial pick perhaps is the Apple Watch. I know some of you won't consider this a you know proper watch, but you know lots of people were sending this in, so I'm including this. The Apple Watch packs most of your smartwatch functions into a compact 40 or 44 millimeter rectangular case. Uh, the straps are beyond comfortable, and the SE version starts at $249. I've also reviewed my Apple Watch, so if you want to watch this video, I will also link it for you in the description box down below if you're interested in seeing that. And for those who want to feel a bit more like they're wearing a you know, proper watch, uh, you can set your dial layer out to look like you know some of the more iconic watch dials, like you can pick a California dial or just you know like a Panda dial, chronograph layout, however you would like. And this marks the end of this video. Now you know which 21 watches are the most popular among students and young 
young professionals. You know, the ones that are actually being worn by them. So this is a tried and tested list. Let me know in the comments down below which of these are your favorites and any other watches you would like to add to this list. And as always, I would like to say thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like that, make sure to subscribe to my channel and then I will see you in my next video. Bye.